Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you three easy and what I believe to be anyways, healthy lunch bowls that I've been eating lately. Be sure to subscribe because I have three dinner ideas coming soon and I will have my what I eat in a day playlist linked down below with lots more food. I know when I find food videos, I just want to watch all of them, but I've got three different ideas. There will be timestamps down below if you'd like to skip ahead. This first one is kind of Asian inspired with a crispy chicken breast. The other two are vegetarian. You can play around with ingredients as much as you like. This one has falafel and couscous. And the third bowl doesn't look that pretty, but I promise it is really, really tasty. So let's get into it. Starting off with the crispy chicken breasts, I got these from Costco and then I'm using a coleslaw mix along with some broccoli. Then I've got a cucumber and a sweet onion. And then I'm also gonna be using this white kimchi not my preference. If you like kind of fermented things, but you don't like spice, this may be for you, but that's all they had at the grocery store. Some spring onions to top it all off. And then for my sauces, I'm gonna be using hoisin sauce along with coconut aminos, which is kind of a gluten-free soy sauce substitute. I'm not gluten-free. I just like the kind of sweeter flavor of it. And then basically you're just gonna be seeing a lot of chopping in this video. <laughs> These are all things that can be done ahead of time, kind of meal prep it. But what I did start doing is I started a vegetable scrap bag to eventually make a stock out of, which is something I've been wanting to do. And you'll see it grow throughout this video because I kind of filmed this over a couple of the uh, last weeks. But for this dish specifically, I'm going to be putting the broccoli in the air fryer with the chicken breast that I already have cooking in there and a little bit of spray oil. You can use um, a, like a pan and saute it. You can toss it all in the oven, but for me, air fryer is life. We've actually started storing our crock pot and rice cooker in the oven because we use it so little and 600 square foot apartment life. But uh, there is the broccoli, nice and roasted. I sliced the cucumber really, really thin. And then I added the onion and coleslaw mix to a pan. You can make this double or triple serving so you don't need to cook it the next day. And then I also included the coconut aminos in there too. And some garlic powder, maybe. I might've done that after the fact, but I'm using chicken in this recipe. You could use fish, you could use tofu, you could use no um, meat at all. And then if you wanted to add rice, you could. I skipped out on the rice, I think this day because I had eaten a lot of chips either that night before or had planned to eat a lot of chips later that day. So <laughs> I was trying to find the balance. Like I said, again, using that white kimchi, but I did happen to have some remaining kimchi juice with the gochujang in it from a previous kimchi. So I poured that on top. And this is the finished bowl. I added the hoisin to the top of the chicken breast. And some days I did like chicken breast, hoisin and broccoli, and that was it. And then other days it was a little bit more elaborate like this one. Moving on to the second bowl, I'm using tricolored pearl couscous. It's essentially couscous, but a little bit bigger and kind of like a spherical shape. Then I've got falafel that I got from Sobeys. This was fresh, but I put it in the freezer because I didn't want it to go bad. I'm using halloumi, which is my new obsession. Feta would be a great fit here too. Then I have tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and I'm using sweet onion and then these kind of pre-cooked beets, I guess. I guess they're pre-cooked, yeah. I'm making my own sauce. So I have fat-free Greek yogurt, just, you know, that lemon juice that comes in a bottle because groceries are scarce, <laughs> garlic powder, cause it's easy. You can use fresh, of course, and then some dill and oregano. If you're curious how I've been eating during quarantine, pretty crap, honestly. I'm trying to find that balance of being kind to myself because these are, you know, as everybody says, unprecedented times and it weighs heavy on your heart and you know, you, you can't be too hard on yourself. But at the same time, I think we've realized that having our health is paramount. So I'm trying to find that balance at least in the early part of the day. I'm still trying not to eat till 12. And then I can at, at the very least have a fairly nutritionally dense meal and you know, see how the day goes from there. Also, if you're chopping and your board is slipping around, you can put a little cloth underneath. People always comment that on my videos. I know um, I don't, like even if my board moves a little bit, it's fine. You'll see I have a cloth underneath it in the, in the last clip, but that's a fun fact if you have issues with that. You'll see my scrap bag has grown a little bit there too. Let me know if you do that um, and what you make out of your broth. 
If you're not familiar with halloumi, it is a grilling cheese that does not melt. I love it if you're vegetarian or just love cheese. It's like squeaky and salty, which I know is a weird descriptor, but oh, so good. Not that popular in North America, but I do find it at um, the majority of grocery stores here. And I'm just putting together my sauce. And like I said, I made an extra portion of sauce. I made an extra portion of couscous so I could have it again the next day for lunch. Cause I'll never ever eat like fully prepared meals almost ever if I meal prep them. I've learned that the hard way and just either really sadly eaten a meal or sadly tossed out something that I didn't eat in time. So I find when meal prepping, I like to just have grains ready or proteins ready or have some things in the freezer that I can easily air fry um, because otherwise I'm not gonna eat it. I don't have the air fryer that I use linked down below. So again, just adding everything to this bowl. I'll have my bowls linked down below. They're from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really love them. Uh, falafel, roasted onions and peppers, my beets in the middle, and then you'll see the halloumi got a really nice color on it too. And topping it with my sauce. And I really liked this one. I really love falafels. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a huge meat eater, but I'm also not a vegetarian, just trying to find that happy medium. And then lastly is the random schmattering bowl. This is basmati that I cooked in my rice cooker with a tomato that was going bad. Mediterranean chickpea burgers from Morningstar, love those. This is great too, Kung Pao broccoli. It's kind of like a tempura broccoli. I never use the sauce, just the, just the broccoli. And then again, more peppers. You'll see a common theme of vegetables so that I don't need to go do a bunch of grocery shopping. Ran out of sweet onions, however, but uh, I did find the kimchi, which was super exciting. We bought a kilogram of it because we're obsessed with kimchi now. And this roasted red pepper sauce, I'm telling you, this is my favorite food discovery of 2020. Even if you're not a huge roasted red pepper person, because I'm not, this reminds me of like a pizza dip, like the cheddar jalapeno dip that you get from Domino's without the jalapeno. I put it on pizza, I put it on tacos, I put it on bowls, I dip chips in it, like it is so good. But the best part is that it's 30 calories per 30 grams, which for any kind of saucy dip, that is very good. Um, not to call anything guilt-free, but I can eat a lot of it and I appreciate that and it still tastes good. It doesn't feel like you're sacrificing anything. I'm always trying to find ingredients that taste really good, that aren't too caloric, but also taste good because that's very, very important to me. So just assembling everything in the bowl here and topping it with the roasted red pepper sauce that I heated up with a little bit of water. And those are my bowls. Like I said, some days they are more intricate, other days they're very simple, but I find a little bit of meal prep ahead of time is very, very helpful. So I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.